Hello and welcome back. So, I got home from work today and I reached in the bucket of locks that I got from Pickbeard. I haven't pulled anything out of that bucket in a while. Um, yeah, it takes me a while to get through all the locks when you send a bunch of locks. <laughs> um, because, well, I only pick one lock a day and uh, I try to rotate the buckets around a little bit and try not to pull from the same bucket twice in a row. Um, but at any rate, I pulled this one out. This one is a uh, Euro cylinder, um, says stock, unsure of make, and uh, he sent me a full Euro, I do have the other half, um, but um, I, when I first got it in, I cut it in half because uh, gutting a full Euro is hard um, on camera. So I just cut it in half, have not picked it yet. Um, but I thought I would take a look at it. I picked a good one. Um, all right, look at that nasty, nasty, nasty kiwi. My goodness. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that from the back, but wow, the pin actually comes all the way down through the warding. The pin drops all the way down to about there. So I will be picking through all of that warding uh, to get these um, pins. Uh, it does have a key. Key works absolutely smoothly. Um, here's the bidding on the key. Uh, pretty good bidding on that. Got some low ones with the highs hiding behind it. Maybe that'll give you a better look at the warding. My gosh, that's insane. Um, at any rate, let's put this in the vise and see what we got here. You know, that's interesting. I'm um, showing six pins there, but I think that's a five pin key. Yeah, hmm, that's weird. Um, all right, well, uh, it didn't matter. They all gotta be picked anyway, so we will put it in the vise and see what we can do here. Um, let's see y'all. Gotta love it when you have something big in your vise and then you gotta <laughs> clamp it all the way down to one of these small little half euros. <laughs> all right, there we go. Um, let's see here. Uh, I wonder if my 40 will fit in that. Looks like it's a little bit wide enough. It is. Okay, good. Okay, I fit my 40 thousandths pry bar in there. And then I have to pick up through that warding. I'm going to grab the deep hook in 18 thousandths from Peterson. Um, let's see if that'll work. Because I want to try to pick from the bottom of this keyway. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Let's uh, zoom in for you guys, hopefully. You can see any kind of movement I get on this. I have no idea, um, since it, I'm unsure of the make, what I'm up against here. I know I'm up against some warding for sure. Um, hopefully that's focusing. There we go. And uh, I'll do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock. I'm going to apply fairly medium tension. Okay, there was a click on three. Okay, that was four. Give me a good click. Three. Give me another good click. Another click on four. Wow, I think I might be up against some serrated pins here. That's weird. Um... That may have been an overset on one. Three. If I'm picking warding or if I'm picking a pin here. Oh, that was an overset. I felt it. I'm going to have to tighten up on my tension a little bit here. Okay, that was two. Four. Okay, I got a little rotation there. I touched four. Again. I think I'm on five. I don't think that was a click. I think that was me bouncing off the warding here. Okay, that was five. Five. 
five again because I think I dropped him back down by accident. Three. A little bit on two. Keep pushing on the warding and dropping pins. Kind of a tricky lock here. Okay, that was three. What's holding me up here? Five. Got a couple clicks on him, but I got my pick stuck. Two. Oh, and four. All right, here we go. Uh, it is picked. What a lock there. Um, took me quite a while for a stock lock, but I have no idea what I'm against here. I'm thinking um, that felt very serrated. Um, let's zoom out for you and see what's inside of this lock. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, normally you grab a stock lock and you kind of expect uh, standard pins or spools or something, but that felt very, very clicky. Um, let's see here. Grab my pinning tray. And we will... Uh, wear this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, it has a clip on the back, so I will use my lovely tool that I got. I do have a key if I lock it back up, but I don't want to. Um... Maybe I'll use this. No, maybe I won't use this tool. Um, let's see what I can do with a screwdriver here. It's a tough clip. Uh, I locked it back. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Wow, this sucker is on there. Um, he does not want to come off. Let me grab a key here. Turn that sideways. Let's see if I can get my my tool to work on that. There we go. Wow, that flew all the way across the room. <laughs> but that tool is awesome. So anyway, it is gutted, or it is uh <laughs> The clip is off, and let's see, I'm going to throw a shim in this, just because. Um, that was kind of a weird feeling in that lock. Shot that clip all the way across the room, though. You know what, I may not be able to shim this. That is really tight. Okay, I guess I'm just going to run a power through it and see how it goes. Um, let's hope for the best. Pins are up. There we go, and my suspicions are right, it is a 5-pinner, okay. Um, all the key pins are in and working, kind of sticky there though. Um, oh, I'm seeing something very interesting. Um, well, my camera's picking that up, that looks like counter milling in 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's pretty awesome. Um, let's see here, 1 is a standard. Two is a standard. Three is a standard. Four is a standard, and five is a standard. But uh, that is definitely counter milling. Yeah. Yeah, you could hear that. Um, let's see here. What we got up top. Pretty cool lock here. All right, and one. Oh, we have a GG driver. Uh, he said he was unsure of the make. I, th I think we know what it is now. <laughs> it's an unbranded uh, GG. Because <laughs> that is what that is. Um, here is a, another uh, GG driver. And another GG driver. <laughs> yep. Um, that's interesting. And another with a all the springs are the same and another so yeah that's uh, that would explain the very crunchy clicky serrated feeling especially with that counter milling um, 
That's awesome. Uh, nothing done upstairs. Don't see any. I mean, they go quick and look at that though. I'm curious. Yeah, nothing done upstairs. All smooth. But um, that would be a pleasant surprise inside of this lock. Um, we have a. Get this to focus. I'll zoom in for you guys here. There we go. And one, we have a standard with a GG driver up top. Then we have a standard in two with a GG driver on top. And you can see those are very long key pins in, in one and two. Uh, short key pin in three, so it was protecting, those two pins were protecting that one with a, another GG driver up top. Uh, same thing in five and same thing in six. Um, so yeah. Uh, awesome lock. Thank you very much, Pickbeard, for sending it to me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time, and well, don't break the law.